Greetings my friends and welcome back for yet another episode in our Farming Simulator 19 series on Kiwi Map. So I'll have to say I'm sorry for the fact that I'm starting this episode during the night. I hope you can see at least something. Um, it's just that my 10 pixies achieved the maximum 511 pigs. Uh, during the night, so I'm forced to sell them now and that is one of those occasions where I actually um, load and then unload my pigs on camera because lately, because this uh, become some, became somewhat uh, repetitive I tend to uh, sometimes cut it from uh, the footage I record What happened uh, between the episodes in terms of upgrades uh, so I upgraded my uh, two ideal combines to tier 8 uh, there used to be tier 7 in the previous episode and I upgraded my two Crumpe Bandit uh, semi-trailers and the, Ma the Mon truck which uh, is pulling them to tier 7 uh, that I think I, I've done so that I can load, I don't remember, three or four loads in each trailer. So I, I tend to upgrade my, uh, my tipper trailers at the same time with uh, my combines. Because otherwise, uh, you know, the, the investment may not be, uh, you know, done at the opportune moment. So, um, I only upgrade my Tipo trailers if I upgrade my combines. In the previous episode, if you remember, we seeded some wheat and planted some corn on our massive uh, four merged fields. So today we are going to harvest them. Yeah, this is me unloading 1000 pieces at a time which again is only possible with the aid of my auto-clicking uh, program that I'm using otherwise, you know, pressing a button for 1000 times would be too much even for me you know, hardcore farming simulator uh, player so during this night our merge fields uh, with the two crops on them have cured which means that we can start the harvesting and now thanks to the fact that we have two crampe trailers uh, pulled by our truck we can harvest two types of crops at a time so um, normally even if you have two combines uh, and if you have just one trailer you'll be forced to either harvest one crop, crop at a time or run and unload your trailer each time so one of the reason I went with two uh, tipper trailers just like in my previous seasons is the fact that this allows me well besides double the capacity of the trailers themselves uh, this allows me to harvest two crops two different crops at the same time in this case on the same field uh, yeah, normally I do one crop per field, but considering this is such a giant field now that I merge from four fields, as you can see. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna need that much crop of one type from this giant field. Um, yeah, maybe in the future when I'm. I'm gonna expand further uh, in terms of um, the vehicle tiers. Maybe I'm gonna use this field with for just one crop. But again, to in order to not be too repetitive, I'm inclined more to in invest in new fields uh, with existing crops on them, and then maybe uh, later merge them into other big fields. In terms of grass, these are actually two fields merged into one. 
which makes now my uh, grass field, which replaces the one on the left, where I uh, now on the right, uh, where I place my 10 pigsties. Up until now, I was feeding my cows mainly hay, which is dry out grass, basically. Uh, soon, I'm gonna finally give them some mixed ration, uh, which is odd because I previously, basically in all my uh, seasons, I was always using mixed ration for my cows. In this season, I uh, for how much? For for at least 18 episodes, I was feeding them just uh, hay. Yeah, and which is also odd is the fact that I haven't done any baling in this season. Um, but especially now, since we have this uh, add-on released, which introduces some new equipment uh, related to baling. I should probably, first of all, I'll have to buy that add-on and then I should probably do some videos with it. Well, to use it in this season, maybe. Because bales, you know, um, as opposed to just bulk, uh, bulk storing of your, um, of your hay or uh, straw or grass, uh, bales is a, it's a more you know visual visual visualizations of all that you have because when you dump something in your silo it's basically invisible it's just a number on your menu but when you have it in the form of bales you can visualize it better so definitely sometime I should uh, uh, either use the, the equipment from this uh, newly released add-on either just use some some something existing in the game i remember when i started this season i was given a bailer yeah i see it now on the right <laughs> but i actually never used it and i never increased its tier which is again odd maybe because i'm just lazy to do some something new, but I definitely should. Uh, tonight I'm lucky in the sense that in the hotel room where I'm staying tonight, my TV screen is right above my uh, notebook so that I can connect it through my handy HDMI cable and have it as my second screen because I'm so used to having a, sef a second screen for ages now <laughs> to be honest I guess no less than f for the last five years I'm always using two two screens two monitors so it's a pain when if I'm not at home um, and I'm forced to just use uh, a single screen from my laptop it's hard actually, so I'm very. I consider myself very lucky uh, when uh, the TV is in my um, hotel rooms is near my laptop, so that I can connect it through my HDMI cable. Because it's actually very handy, no matter what you do. For example, if you, if I'm just playing and recording on one screen, I can monitor the recording through my OBS software on my second screen. And then in the same time, I can watch like a movie or a TV show or some videos on YouTube. I always do. I never, ever, you know, just playing the games without doing something else in the background because otherwise it would be too boring for me. So always when I'm playing and recording, I'm watching something or listening for something like an audiobook or something. So yeah, this uh, second screen is a very, very handy uh, thing. Of course, ideally, I would like to have three screens at the same time with a uh, multi-monitor setup or iFinity or something. But yeah, 
<laughs> with uh, my lifestyle and my uh, my job that I have, it's nearly impossible because uh, very often I spend the nights at hotels. Okay, so in the meantime, it looks like I finished harvesting the corn. Okay, now as for the wheat, um, as you can see, it's more than half of the field. So it 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 was like thirty percent corn and six and seventy percent wheat on this field. So what I'll do, I'll just uh, take my one of the combines. I'll leave my corn hanner here and I'll take my draper hanner. So this second combine will aid my first one into finishing harvesting the wheat. Ideally, I would like to have at least four combines. If you remember in my previous uh, seasons, you know, higher up in, um, uh, in episodes, I was having four combines in parallel. It's taking more, more time, longer time to, to set them up um, in the sense to bring them to the field and then start the harvesting. But once, but once you do the setting up, it's uh, you know it's it's like a breeze, especially if if your combines are pretty high in tiers, which I intend to do in this season. This season is going to be crazy in terms of the tiers that I'm gonna use. So now you can see on the left uh, part of the screen, the highest tier of the vehicles that I have, it's 25. Well, I'm gonna have 50 tier, 75, 100 tiers. So you'll see. But of course, um, it's easier to go up uh, in tiers for you know um, a cheap vehicle like for example my um, pig feed mixer and my Valtra tractor and <laughs> that's the reason I used actually the cheapest Valtra uh, just so that it's cheaper to uh, uh, increase its tier but for some of the other vehicles like my combines they're quite expensive like this combine, this Fend uh, 9T, with a set of two headers, it's 707,000 euros. So yeah, one tier, it's worth 707,000. And considering that I have two of them, and both of them are a tier 8, let me do a quick adding, so times 2 times 8, 11 millions. Okay, so my two combines worth 11 million, millions. I paid for them 11 millions. So I don't think in the default game without modification, if you can, you know, earn that much money in a timely fashion. But yeah, my chair system is allowing me to earn that much money and to be able to spend that much money into upgrading my vehicles. As usual, I'm enjoying my beer while I'm uh, recording the commentary to these videos. If you're over age 18, you can do the same, of course. If not, enjoy your uh, juice or tea or coffee or whatever. Okay, so my harvesting is almost done. And that's the thing, when your two combines finish the same field, there's always a different combination. They can finish the field, uh, you know, along in parallel, or they can come uh, one in front of each other, and then you have to, you know, step in and sort them out. Otherwise, they'll be stuck. It's, it's a gambling, so... Yeah, so I just bought a new field. That was the field number 32. And if you have an impression that I'm buying fields without even looking into them, well, you're wrong. I usually stop the recording 
and do a little of research. I monitor all the fields, the existing fields on the map, and then I take uh, the decision, and only then I um, uh, start the camera uh, to record the footage. So the field 32, one, it has soybeans on it, which is a crop that I'm in need right now, and two, it's part of the top row of the fields, which I intend to merge later. Yeah, here I had to redo the last bits of my grass field to make sure that it's all uh, hay, because I don't need grass, I need only hay. So yeah, um, one by one I will bring my combines to that 32 field to harvest um, the soybeans on it. Just like that. And as I was saying, uh, the intention is to buy one by one the fields in the top row and then merge them into even a, you know, a bigger field than the existing merged fields that I have. So, yeah, but as usual, I just, I j I'm not buying the fields randomly. I usually buy fields with an existing crop that I'm, I'm in need at the moment. So, yeah, even if it's, uh, at a certain point in time, I have the money to buy a new field, but it's not the field where with the crop that I'm in need, I will not buy it actually. So I'm only buying if I see a good crop on it. With the exception of the previous season, where if you remember, I had that bug, that glitch, that made uh, over time all the fields into grass. So I was buying them with grass on them, and then I was uh, reseeding them. And on this map, it looks like I don't have this bug. At least for now, so yeah, I'm uh, I'm able to buy the fields that have useful crops on them. Uh, to be honest, I was looking into the yields of different types of crops, and it looks like in FS19 they they have done a lot of uh, you know modifications. Um, it used to be that canola and soybeans had massively, you know, lower yield than other crops. Like, canola used to have like half of the yield of wheat and barley, and soybeans, I think, used to have even less yield. But now the difference is not that big. And I don't remember where, when they introduced soybeans. But canola used to be a default crop starting from FS 2009. So for many iterations of the game, it used to have like half of the yield of other crops. But in FS 19, 2019, um, they, they changed it. I don't know why. I assume that the yield of different crops is also different um, country-wise. So I think, if I'm not mistaken, Giants is a German company. So maybe by default they were using um, crop yields achieved in Germany. But then they started to look into different uh, yields across uh, the globe. So maybe they change the yields according to, you know, a median uh, yield across uh, the entire globe map. I don't know what's what's their um, uh, their logic, but yeah. And I'm also <laughs> not an expert in in agriculture. I guess I know agriculture um, only by by FS series. Because I grew in a in a town in a village, and now I live uh, in the Paris region, so I'm not very into agriculture. Yeah. 
Okay, so as I finished the harvesting, I can now freely fast forward up until I have uh, about 511 pigs in all of my 10 pig steeds, at which point I start to uh, sell them. And since my animal trailer can hold now 1000 pigs, uh, that, which is a round number and I like not round numbers, I can load 200 pigs from 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 five of my pig steers and I deliver, you know, when I make one delivery, then I load another 1000 pigs from the other five pig steers. So at the moment, uh, when I'm selling pigs, I'm selling them in two loads. The idea, uh, scope is to be able to load them in just one uh, delivery. So, um, in the future, I will increase the tier of my um, animal trailer to the point where I'll be able to load 2000 pigs at once. So that I can load 200 pigs from each of my 10 pig steeds. Yeah, I know I'm crossing this field, which I know not all the players like when, you know, we're when we're going on top of the fields. But in my gameplay series, I tend to go only over the fields that I own, um, because if I don't own a field, I don't go over it. I'm going on the on the roads on the side. And yeah, realistically, in the real life, you will never go over your fields, because going over your field means that one, you know, one more compacting of your soil, which you want to avoid at all cost. Uh, that's why usually the agricultural equipment are made uh, in such way that they avoid comp compacting your um, your soil. That is, they either have very wide uh, tires, either very narrow tires, you know, to reduce the comp the compacting uh, between the windrows, for example, or they have these tracks, which also decrease uh, the compacting as they spread the the pressure area on the soil. But yeah, um, I'm mainly doing it. To speed up the things because otherwise getting to from point to point all, just on the roads would uh, be you know longer would take more time and I don't want to uh, you know, spend spend your time so that's why I'm uh, speeding up the things by going over the, the, the fields so yeah what <laughs> what I was trying to say is that I'm doing it for you so that my game playing is, uh, is faster. So yeah, after for fast forwarding um, for another couple of days, I have again enough pigs to deliver my two loads of pigs. That is 2000 pigs in total. And with that, I guess I'll finish the episode. Uh, we shall see where I'm gonna invest the money that I just made in this episode. Um, if I take a quick look, yeah, I already know where I invested it, but I will not tell you yet, I will keep you in suspense. So, um, you're gonna see it in the next episode. As for this one, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed it, then you know what to do give a thumbs up and maybe leave a comment in the comment section below. I hope to see you all next time and I wish you all a great day or a great evening or night, depending when you're watching this. Bye bye!